Come here. Come here, gorgeous. Come here. What are you doing up there? Juniper. Hello. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Congratulations! You've been selected for a $100 Walmart gift card. In order to process your Walmart gift, we will need to transfer you to a live representative. Press 1 now to be connected. Again, congratulations, and simply press 1 now to be connected to a live... Hi, guys. Here's Juniper. Hi, this is Steve. How can I help you? Hello. I'm just calling. Uh, I've got disconnected. I'm calling about my voucher. Okay, what voucher? Uh, yes, it said it's a $100 uh, shopping gift reward. Okay, so you're getting a $100 card for the shopping, okay? Yes, and that's for okay. anywhere. I can take it to uh, the CVS or uh, to the Hustler on Sunset. Yes, yes, you can go any store. Walmart, Target, CVS, anywhere, okay? Okay, so it's... So uh, Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, today I will give you a confirmation number that is a legal proof for you, okay? Oh, okay, uh, then tell me the number of the card there, dear. Okay, so you need to take care only one time shipping and activation fee. Now, what is that? Uh, remind me, what does uh, activation mean again? There is only a one-time shipping and activation fee, $4.95. Okay, okay, and uh, what does activation mean there, darling? The activation so that I can activate the card under your name, okay? You don't have to activate the card. Okay, and what, is, uh, okay? what does activate mean? Activate means I'm going to activate the card on behalf of you, okay? All right, and if you could just... Uh, Tell me, um, so, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, which card you have? You have a Visa card or a National? Uh, I, I have American Ex Express. Uh, I mean, we, we don't accept American Express. You don't oh. have any Visa or National. Whoa. Card. You don't have a, you don't have a, for the uh, American Express? No. You accept only Visa card or a MasterCard. Oh, okay. Well, uh, do you have a Visa MasterCard? I can uh, send you the cash app from my American Express because I don't have a Visa. Uh, no, you, you might be having a Green Dot card, the Express card, family member card. What is card. a game, game Dot card? Yes. I don't have that. That sounds like something for video games. <laughs> no, no. Like a green dot card. It's a, it's also Walmart green dot card. Oh. What did you say? Yeah, do you I might be having, do I you might be have any family? You might mm -hmm. be have any family member card, friends card. Oh, sure. I've got my grandson is staying with me. I know that. Uh, he, he's got a visa probably in his wallet, but I don't want to steal from him. Maybe you can throw in an extra card. Yeah, so can you go and grab your card? Oh, uh, so you're wanting me to take it from my grandson. You're telling me to steal from him. You're a little, you're on the naughty side, aren't you? <laughs> Hello? No, my wife. It is only for the verification, ma'am, okay? All right, and remind me, what does a, what does a verification mean? Like, we verify your details, like your name, your mailing address. Yes, I have all of verification. those. I've got and a I... name and, uh, and an address. Yes, I think most people do. Hello? Sir David, maybe <laughs> you gave up on me. Hi, Devin. Hi, Jim Brown is in the chat. I feel nervous. I feel nervous. Our leader. 
<gasps> Our leader! Carl, how dare you almost forget about this channel? Juniper! Come here! Earlier, I was, um, I have been messing with the new, uh, Publishers Clearinghouse scammer, and I called as, like, a redneck, and, um, Juniper brought a toy in, dragged it in. Hi, Ryan! Thank you for the super sticker! I got a couple others, um some like requests of like saying funny things but i almost started laughing um sorry i'm like scrolling oh strip light um hey lexi what's up girl uh i'm gonna call back and maybe try to do a different voice we'll see i like unicorns and bts girl same Hello, please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Congratulations, you've been selected for a $100 Walmart gift card. In order to process your Walmart gift, we will need to transfer you to a live representative. Press 1 now to be connected. Is that loud as bleep for anyone else? Hello. <laughs> that didn't go very well. Try Brittany. Everyone says Brittany sounds like Bart Simpson now. Like my voice a bit. <laughs> They're like, you sound like Bart. A little pitchy. Answer me, weirdos. Weirdos. Hey, Devin, thank you so much for modding. For modding. Thank you for modding. Oh, I forgot to put on slow chat. Juniper Hello. Is looking out the Please window. Listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Congratulations. You've been selected Ow. for a $100 Walmart gift card. Thank you for calling. My name is Brian. How can I help you? Hi, Brian. I'm calling to get um my $100 gift card. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Hello. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Congratulations. Hey, Bob. Thank you so much for calling on the site, Jeff. How may I help you? Hi there, Jeff. I'm just calling on behalf of my answering machine that done told me I won some kind of voucher. That is a gift card, my dear. $100 oh. Walmart gift card. You're oh. getting within seven days at your mailing address. Oh, well, Lord bless it. I love Walmart. How much is it now? It would be a $100 that you can spend on your expenses, and uh, you have to pay $4.95 for that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that ain't so bad. Now, uh, how did I win that? It's from the, them surveys I've been doing on the computer? Is that we are selecting 50 random customers oh. because the system is running down today for the same. Oh, and well, my God, I never won nothing before. On the, on the automated machine, you've been uh, selected to get it. Oh, my God, well, Lord your bless you. I'm uh, sorry. You're calling. It's 925-510-5442. Yeah, that's correct. And on the verification line, what with the shipping address where I can ship you the gift either? Oh, uh, let's see. I'm just wondering, do I want it to my P.O. box? Or you can just do it straight to my house unless y'all do a P.O. box. You can choose any one of those. That's okay. Oh, okay. Um, it will be coming to you from UPS. Oh, okay. Do I got to sign for it or nothing like that? There is no sign-ups, no gimmicks, nothing. Oh, okay. To do. Well, Lord, Lord, you know, I, nothing's worse than a bleeping gimmick. I, I, I hear me on that. All right, so um, are you ready? Go ahead. Uh, my last name is Kidden. K-I-D-D-I-N. The first name? Jess. J-E-S-S. -S. Which card do you have to pay the $4.95? Is uh, it Visa or Master? Oh, uh, yeah, it's my card. Yeah, it belongs to me. Visa, Master? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, Y'all take a Discover card, or I've also got the Diners Club card, too. Are we only accept the Visa or Master, Miss Kidden? 
Oh, okay. Um. All right, well, let's go ahead and do Visa then. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. What's the card number? It's uh, 47166. 393-606-44944. Can you repeat the card number? Yeah, it's 47166-393-606-44944. Expiration date? Uh, it's uh, July 31. What's the year? 31. Like 2031. Good to be true, my dear. Right, I know. I feel like the world's ending. Ain't gonna be, make it that long, you know? I feel like the world's gonna end probably two years. <laughs> Are you sure it's July 31? Yes, sir. Got right here in front of me. And I... If you don't mind me, I know, are you a male or a female? Um, I'm a female. How about you, sir? And or ma'am? How I'm sounding you, my dear. I'm sorry, what? Of course, a male. And you said you're female and your first name is Jeff. Yes. The last name is Kiddin. Yes, K-I-D-D-I-N. You didn't add G in the end, my dear. I'm sorry, what'd you Is say? A G as in goat. At the end of the last name? No, 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 no. I used to get teased for that all the time when I was in elementary school. You ain't got to bring it up now. It's just, nope, no G. Are you sure it's just K-I-D-D-I-N? There is no G in the end? Yes, correct, sir. I know my last name. My goodness. As you got uh, 2031 in the expiration date and you then got G in the end of your last name. No, so no, no, no. It's not 20. It's July, so 0731. That's what I said. July 2031, you said, right? Yes, correct. It's 31. one of the lifelong cards. Anyways, and there would be a three number at the back. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Let's see, CVC or whatever. Lord knows what that even stands for. I don't even know what that stands for. Sir? Three number. Oh, all right. It's 179. Okay. And the shipping address where I can ship you the gift. Okay. Um, did my car go through? Because I know I've been shopping a lot on there buying some weird stuff off Amazon. So. I get your card went through. Oh, okay. Well, God bless it. Okay. Okay. Phew. All right. The address is 19020 Van Owen Street, Reseda, California. Will you go to the slow that I didn't get the mailing address oh it's one nine zero uh -huh. two uh-huh zero okay space that now i'm going to tell you the street name y'all y'all ready go ahead all right it's capital v a uh -huh. n as a nancy is it in Reseda, California? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Bingo. Bingo. You know, guy. All right. Keep the same uh, visa card handy. I'm sorry? Uh, I'm sure you will. I said keep the same visa card handy. Oh, yeah. I've got it right here. connect you to an automated machine. There will be an automated machine. She will be asking you about your name, your mailing address, your phone number. Okay, even though I even though I done just told you, you even though I just done told you all of that, I gotta talk to a computer. I don't know if I trust that government listen to my conversations and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. You're doing that so we can get your information deleted from the system once we charge it for the four dollars and ninety five cents. Oh, you're deleting and that it. That is definitely secure because as you provided me the card numbers and I'm still talking to you. Okay, but um, I don't that want is for your safety and your security. Can you can you uh? Okay, I'm just a little nervous talking to a computer and stuff like that. I don't. My Alexa... I'll be there with you in the conference, Miss. Oh, okay. Okay, and, and make sure, okay, I just don't want no government listening to my conversations, nothing like that, because I know they do. You know, I'll be talking about something. 
it, it, something random like oh we, we need new curtains and then next thing you know i'm scrolling through facebook and it's like curtains 50 percent off i'm like how do they know that you know have you has that ever happened to you the verification is only to get your information safe and secure, Ms. Kittens. Like once you repeat your information, we'll get the required amount of the 495 and then and there it will be trashed. So however, that won't be misused apart from the $4.95 at all. Okay, okay, sorry, you're making my head spin a little bit. But does that ever happen to you? Do you know what I'm talking about? You'll be talking about something out loud with somebody or even just like thinking it and all of a sudden you scroll through Facebook and it shows up there in the ads. I swear to God that that Mark Zuckerberg, he been listening to my conversations. I just want to make sure it's nothing like that. Listen to your confirmation. No. Okay, and, but does that ever happen? Me and the automated machine. Okay, but does that ever happen to you? Do you use Facebook? I swear to God, they listen to our conversations. I think there's like cameras in our phone that are just constantly just watching me, listening to me, stuff like that. No, there is nothing like that. Okay, do, do you have Facebook though? Do I have what? Do you have a Facebook account? Are you on the Facebook? Yes. Of course. Oh, yeah. does that ever happen to you? You know how you'll be talking about something out loud or just like thinking about it and all of a sudden you're scrolling through and it shows up on your advertisements on there or even sometimes on Instagram, it'll show up what I was just talking about. Like our phones are bugged or something. They're listening. They're listening to our conversations that, that you know, all these advertising agencies, they work with Mark Zuckerberg in uh, Obama. I understand, but here... We are running a small message on the IBR. It's your choice oh. whether you want to go for the gift. No, I, I do want it. I'll, no, I want uh, Yeah, no, I, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm no, yeah. I'm just explaining you. Yeah. I'm just explaining you. Yeah, no. To get it left no, in, yeah, no. We are running a small message on the IBR, so that is no, yeah. the customer choice yeah. whether they want to go for that. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I, I do, I do, I, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah. Secondly, I ask about this information, so apparently... And again, after getting the card numbers, I said that there would be a verification. Okay, so I, uh, sir, okay, sir, 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 take a sip of cold water. And You're getting mad at me over nothing. Sir, take a deep you. breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I think you're getting a little heated with me over nothing. I was just making sure, and I was just trying to relate to you. I don't know, you sound like a nice person. I'm just explaining you. Mr. Okay, okay. All right, you ain't got to get no heated up or nothing about that. Just take a cold sip of water, Kool-Aid, wherever you got there. No, no, no. Why not? Well, yeah. you, you took it wrong. You took it no, wrong. No, I think I you're taking it wrong. Explaining you. That's my duty. Oh, oh duty. <laughs> Sorry. That made me think of never nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. So, um, yeah, I just want to make sure you're not mad at me. You sound like you're getting a little bit heated. You want to go with the verification? Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry. I just get a little riled up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, what's I'll your name? What's your name? What's your what's 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 your name? In case we get disconnected, I can call you back and chat maybe later if Jeff I'm feeling bored Wilson. alone. That's Jeff Wilson. Jeffrey Wilson. Where are you from, Jeffrey? It's not Jeffrey. It's only Jeff. Oh, my name's Jeff. Okay. Sorry, Jeff. No worry. Oh, that's, that's it's hard not to say Jeffrey. You just, you know, Jeffrey sounds like a little fancier. You sound kind of fancy. So, Jeff. Free. Sorry. Jeff. Free. Jeff. Free. Jeffrey. Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Uh, go ahead and give me the, um, the, uh, sorry. I'm getting kind of dizzy. Woo. It's hard not to say Jeffrey. All right. <clears throat> go ahead and give me the confirmation. Transfer me to whatever. And if we get disconnected, I'm call back and ask for you. Jeff. Free. Jeff. All right. A minute or two where the line will be blank and you will be connected. Okay, but please, sir. And then take down the confirmation. Jeffrey. Jeff, sorry. I'll God. Back in two minutes. Jeff. <clears throat> Hold on one second, Jeff. Jeff. Free. Jeff. Go ahead. I'm here. Um, would it be all right to add you on the Facebook? You got my name. You can go ahead. Okay. Uh, so it's just, yeah. is it Geoff, like G-E-O-F-F? -F? I don't know why people spell like that. Sorry if it is. Or you, is it? Uh, uh, my first name spells the same way as yours. Oh, no. My name is Jess. J-E-S-S. -S. Not Jessery. Huh. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you thought my name was like Jeff, Jeff this whole J -E -F -F. time? You thought my name was Jeff this whole time? And I done told you I was a girl? I mean, some girls are, you know, could be named Jeff that, and some that, Jeffs that's what I identify as girls. Like your first name is Jeff. You thought my and name was Jeff Kidden? You must be kidding too. <laughs> That's crazy. No wonder you were asking me if I was a girl or a boy. I was like, I don't know like what to tell you. I, it's pretty obvious, but you know, sometimes girls have boyish voices and boys got girlish voices and some Jeffs so identify as a girl and that's okay too. Um, so, uh, uh, just to Jeff, there was no, like, there would be a short form of name because I never heard the name of Jess. You've never heard the name Jess. Don't you watch that show, New Girl? It can be Jessica or something. Well, yeah, of course there's such thing as Jessica, but I'm just Jess. Just like you ain't no Jeffrey, you're just Jeff. So we got a lot in common. That's why I want to add you on the Facebook. <laughs> you got my name. Uh, you go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, get a profile picture of Koala. That would be a Koala on a uh, particular Oh, my God. I love Koalas. That's my favorite animal. That's my dream is to go to Australia. I love them. I just, I, and it made me so sad, you know, all them koalas dying in the fire. That really, I was crying about every day. True story. Yeah, many kangaroos. Yeah, I, the kangaroos, I, I don't really like those. They, they're kind of nasty to me. I, I don't really, kangaroos can, they can do whatever they want. That, that's none of my business. But the koalas, oh my God. So is it a grown koala or a baby koala in your profile picture? Grown koala. Oh, okay. Is he eating a bamboo or nothing like that? Or is he just, is he on a tree? On a tree, uh, yes, yeah, on a tree. And that's a common picture, I believe. Oh, so it's like, um. But you get on windows either. Oh, so it's like a stock image. <clears throat> so you got a stock photo of a koala? Miss Kitten, uh, uh, this is a uh, business line, but oh, I won't be. Oh, you're the one who brought up the koala, not me, Jeff. I'm, I'm, I'm an okay, but you're the one who I'm brought it. I'm going to connect you in two minutes so you can complete the verification and check down the confirmation number. Let me know once you're ready. I'm, I'm ready, but Jeff, do you have an Instagram? Feels like you're promoting your heart and soul to me a little bit though i feel a connection i i don't know if you can deny that i feel like yeah i don't know you're a little flirty you sound a little handsome you gave me your facebook and everything told me your favorite animal i just gave you my name and i let you know the profile picture either from that i didn't give you my facebook id or something well you told me your name I is jeff you, okay but yes, I, I okay but name. i mean I'm authorized to say my name over the call. Oh, okay. I'm not, sorry. Not, Look, I'm sorry. I just listen. You're not authorized to share the Instagram ID, my dear. Uh, okay, but I just, I'm sorry. I just, like, I was getting a little bit of, like, sort of, like, flirty vibes connection with you. And you're telling me about your favorite animal. And I felt, I don't know, I'm sorry. It, uh, maybe it's been a while. I've just been in quarantine all by myself. I just thought maybe... I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional, but I just, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, if, if you. I'm, that's okay, that's okay, Miss Kidding. Just give me two minutes till I'll connect you. To okay, please, uh, sir. I mean, Verify Jeff. Verify your information and then check down your confirmation number. You'll be connected in quick two minutes. Okay, but I feel Later. connected to you, is all. So if you could give me your personal number, maybe we can text message later. You're not authorized to do that, my dear. Well, um, how about if you're scared of getting in trouble, just tell me the phone number backwards if they like, you know, scan through the car or nothing like that. You have the toll free number handy. Okay. But if you can just call and take my name, I'll be there to answer your questions. Okay. Um, you don't want to give me your email address, nothing like that. I've never been rejected. This is a wild feeling. I don't think, like, I don't really know how to process this. I literally... I've never been rejected. I'm a hard 10, okay, especially in this town. Maybe in Los Angeles, I'd be like soft seven. But in this town, I'm a 10. And I ain't never been rejected here, Jeff. So go ahead, give me your phone number so I can send you a picture of me. 
and you'll see what you're missing. Talk to me like that. Miss Kitten, I'm not rejecting you at all. This is just a promotional department, and I'm talking to you in a business secure line. Okay, just so you know, like I, you know, back in back in back in '94, I was prom queen. Accepted you, but not over the same call. No, I can lose my job. Oh, I well, I wouldn't want you to lose your job. You know, you got a nice, honest, making an honest living there. Um. You know, I, I know there's some dishonest jobs out there that you could probably be doing. And uh, I just want to say I respect you. I find that very sexy. Uh -huh. So, um, what's your email address one more time? You can get my name and the employee code number. <gasps> That's all. What is the employee code? 6969? <laughs> That's JW518. I'm sorry, JW what? And go ahead and just say your phone number real fast after the JW. I won't tell no one. 5518. That is 551H. That's not a phone number. Sir, you know, Jen. I'm to share the phone number. What, what about your email address? Not that to either. Uh, okay, and your Instagram is what now? I forget. I didn't give you my Instagram. Oh, uh, well, there's nothing but time. Go ahead and give it to me now. Let me guess. You can give me yours Instagram. Can I, I'll send you a request. Can I guess your Instagram handle? I bet it's Jeff underscore sexy sexy 69. What is your Instagram? My Instagram? Uh-huh. I'm too shy to give that out. I don't know. Why don't you give me yours first? Well, you're asking about my contact number to send the photos, and you're shy about sharing the Instagram ID. Well, because I think that you don't have one, and you're just saying that to waste my time. So, so long, you were just wasting my No, time. I'm not wasting your time. I want your phone number. That's what I said. You want my phone number. I'm asking about your Instagram ID so I can send you a request either. Okay. You don't have to do that. So, you're admitting you do want my Instagram. I'm not admitting yeah you are you just asked for my you just done asked for my instagram i told you i've never been rejected see even by you you don't even want me but you still want my instagram so i'm gonna take this as a pass i said you earlier that i'm not rejecting you okay no. oh you're so sweet jeff my pleasure um so uh, what's your phone number one more time? What's your Instagram ID? What is ID? Okay, here's the thing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm married. So that might be kind of weird, right? No, you're rejecting me, right? No, I'm not. I'm just telling you. Listen, I'm going to sign up for one right now. I'm going to make an Instagram just for you to talk to you. Because I ain't want my husband to see. Is How that old a... are you? I'm 28. Does age matter? Well, I done told you I was prom queen in 94, so you do the math. Age doesn't matter. I'm just asking for knowledge. How old are you? 24. Oh, you're not 24. Are you kidding me? Guess my age. I'm sorry? Guess my age then. Guess you're probably 30. You're either 34 or 41. Nothing in between. It's either or. I'm not even 24. I'm 23. 24 running. So you're 23 and a half? Yes. Oh, okay. Not even half. It would be uh, 
eight or nine months, just three months. I'll be 24 in August. Oh, okay. What does that make you, a Virgo or something? Yes, I am. Oh, really? So that makes you like flirty, honest, good cook, favorite animals, koala. Koala is not my favorite animal. Oh, well, how come you have that there as your profile picture? Uh, that was just when I was creating my Facebook uh, account, I got this picture in my computer. There was no other picture at that particular time. So that put that picture on the profile picture, my dear. Oh, okay. Um, tell me, what's your favorite food? Mm, not sure. I love everything I got to eat. You love everything you get to eat? Yes. So it doesn't matter what's in front of you. As long as it's edible, that's your favorite? No. Uh, like, most probably, I prefer rats. You eat rats? I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I thought you said you eat rats. I almost gagged. I had rats as pets growing up. I almost started crying. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is shrimp scampi. You ever heard of that? Your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby? Talking to you. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. You really sound to be crazy. You think I'm crazy? Why? We've not even been talking since last uh, 10 minutes, and you made your hobby of talking to me. Well, yeah. Talking to you. It's my new hobby. What's your favorite hobby? Hello? I'm here. What's your favorite hobby? My hobby is also talking to you. Oh, well, we ain't even talking about 10 minutes. Now, already you're saying your hobby's talking to me. You sound crazy. See, how does it feel? <laughs> just, no, no, no. But the scenario is different. I used to change my, uh, like, hobby. It depends on much about the period of six months where I used to change it. Okay, so, like, you've got it marked on your calendar, like, stop caring about this. Now you got a new hobby. So what are your hobbies in the past? What did you say? I didn't get it. Nothing. What's your what what have been your current and past hobbies? Uh, the past hobby, I'm not sure. The current hobby, I told you. Okay. What are your future hobbies? Since you gotta change it in six months, you can't be talking to me no more. I guess. It it will take six months, my dear. Oh, oh my dear. Pet name. Ooh, feel special. Uh, so, uh, where are you from? Hello, where are you from besides my dreams? I can barely understand you. I said, where are you from? Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, you ever been in the P.F. Chang's out there? I love that place. You ever been in that P.F. Chang's? I think the first one opened up there in Scottsdale. Well, slowly, uh, you are loving everything that's related to me. Yes, that's true. You just got a dreamy voice. Smooth, sexy voice. My goodness. But you didn't answer me. You ever been to the Scottsdale over there? The P.F. Chang's over there? It's one of the first ones. It's their flagship. They got really good lettuce wraps. Once you provide me your Instagram. All right. Let me make one. Hold on one second. I gotta create one because I'm making one right now because my husband's gonna know about the other one. I'm saying Instagram. Oh, you're married? No, I'm sorry. I I, I don't know. I'm sorry too. People. Yeah, well, we're no. separated, so. If we're you might, if you might be single, I might have thought about it. Oh, you would. What makes you say that? That matters. Age doesn't matter, but your yeah, relationship matters. So your husband. We're separated, though. We're, we're separated, though, because um, I done found him cheating on me with the but, gardener. 
Uh, you didn't say that. You said that your husband will come to know. And now you're saying that you're being separated. Yeah, I know. I think you're lying. Nothing's worse than dishonesty. It's true. You're right. You're kind of giving so, me come to Jesus moment. You already cheated. Has you already cheated on you? What matters? I you know? I ain't cheat on him yet. So you've been cheating on him. Uh, uh I ain't cheat on him yet. Uh uh. Why? You you trying to maybe start something up? Still pop. You said that you 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 got him cheating on you. So what matters if you cheat on him? Does yeah, that's matter? true, right? Two wrongs do make a right when it comes to a man being trash. Oh, in that case, you'll also cheat me either. Would you cheat with me? Why should I? I don't know. I, I, I feel I like cheated with anyone. I feel like I'm worth it. I'm only committed, my dear. You only what? I'm already committed. I'm in a relationship. Oh, God damn it. Why don't you tell me like an hour ago? <clears throat> I didn't tell you that I'm single. Oh, I guess that's true. Uh, well, maybe we can both just sneak around. How about that? Hold on, I'm signing up for this Instagram thing. You there? Hello, Jeff. Go ahead. Um, sorry, I forgot what I was talking about because I'm signing up for this Instagram thing. Hold on. Let's see here. Go ahead. All right. So I just made, I just done made an account and you can. You can add me on there. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. It's needing me to hold on. Oh my god. Uh, so, what's your girlfriend's name? That's, I don't think like it's. You're making it up. You don't got no girlfriend. I don't think uh, it's worth sharing with you. What? No, it's none of your business. Oh, it's because she don't exist. You're making this up. <clears throat> Hello? Uh huh. I feel I'm like not you're. willing it to share to you. You could just make up any name, though. I wouldn't know the difference. It doesn't matter. You're right. She doesn't matter. I matter. She doesn't matter. You matter. Yeah. That's true. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was passing my time talking to you, and um, I, I was having a, a like great time talking to you. Oh, me too. I'm it telling you. 20 minutes. There's the connection. I, will be, I would be going home in uh, most about the more 10 minutes, so I can talk to you for more 10 minutes, and after that, I'll be leaving. Okay. We're, uh, so where do you work? What kind of job is this really? I said that's in Phoenix, Arizona. You're lying. This, you are not in no Phoenix, Arizona. So where do you think I am? Okay, I made my Instagram. You ready to add me? It's Jess, K-I-D-D-I-N-1. So you can add me on there. I just done made my I account. Have to make an... All right, let me sign up on Instagram. You don't have no Instagram this whole time? My girlfriend would know about it. Oh, um, your made-up girlfriend? You ain't got no girlfriend. <laughs> How would you know that? Because I, I can tell. Because I can tell. The way you're talking to me. You're being real flirty. Are you Jesus? No, right? Am I Jesus? Good Lord, no. I wouldn't be calling for no $100 if I was Jesus. I'd be making wine from water. So how would you know whether I have a girlfriend or not? Because I can tell when a man is lying or not. You're not God. Come on. Not Just yet. Not, not yet, I'm not. So. Oh, it won't. For some reason, it says it, it won't let me access my account for 24 hours. It's weird. Anyways, it's Jess Kidding 1. Come on, Miss Kidding. Now I'm getting bored. Go get someone else. You're getting bored? Me too, kind of, actually. It's true. Uh, goodbye now. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on.
Stay safe. No, hold on. I just got a question. Jeff, Jeff, I got a question. There's one more question. One more question? Yeah, but you got to be honest with me. No lying. Yes, for sure. I was right. Okay. Is this a scam? Not at all. Like, do y'all take the credit card number and then go spend it, and y'all don't really... Yes, we do take the credit card numbers, and we charge it for the $4.95. But, y'all, there's we no... Don't sell or share your data. No, I know you don't, I know you don't sell my data, because, like, but do y'all use the credit card information to go, like... For the $4.95. Right, but, like, That's all. but we know, we both know, you and me. Now that we're getting honest, we both know there ain't no card y'all send. Uh, uh, have you ever tried it? So you might have come to know about it. Uh, well, you don't, well uh, you see, here's the thing. Like, I done did it in the past, and I think I fell for a scam because I never got no card. And then all of a sudden, it was like all these weird things kept Not getting a, charged. You cannot say that about the $100 gift card, Miss Kitten. Not at all. Yeah, well, the, well, you I might have done any other shit, and you might have been a part of any other shit in which you gave the numbers, and you didn't get anything. Yeah, so I done gave them. You know, it was like three dollar ninety five cents for shipping and handling it, to mail out my card or whatever, and so I done gave them my debit card, and I never got it. Three dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah, but $3. it was it was for something different. It but we similar. Take four Right, but I, but do y'all ever actually send send any kind of card? Because I feel like y'all just take the information and then go spend my money. Jeff. I'm here. Okay, you can tell me. I'm not going to tell nobody. I'm not going to tell on you because I, like I told you, I already feel like I have a small crush on you, so I ain't going to tell nobody. No, I was just... talking to my girlfriend, my dear. You were not. You're lying. Yes. You're lying, Jeff. Why should I lie to you? Because you're working at a place. You take my information. Your whole thing, your whole life and job is based on lying. So why? Oh, come on. Your information is not true. I know that. As you know that I don't have a girlfriend. <gasps> I, I told you. I right. knew it. I done told you. I knew it. So, okay, but seriously, you can't find no other job that's like honest. You got to work here in the scam place because that makes me kind of sad I for you. I think you should go ahead and find a job, Miss Kim. Oh, no, thank because you. Because I'm doing my job. In this economy, during this pandemic, you're telling me to go find a job. Well, good luck with that, sir. Read the room. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, you can tell me. I'm not going to judge you nothing like that. I'm just curious how it works. Y'all take the debit card and y'all y'all spend it on something else or what? I said we take $4.95 on any of the cards that you provide. One okay. Time. But it don't cost that Why much. Be you? We are not authorized to use your card somewhere else. That is your card and you would be the authorized person who will use that. Well, do you know anything and about that? The, the you have like... to complete the verification either. If you come on the business, I'll be able to answer the questions politely that I did earlier. Okay. Just giving us the card numbers doesn't end there. Even you have to complete a small verification where there is an automated machine that, that verifies your information and she charges you for the four ninety five. Right. Do you and ever actually? Uh, but y'all, do you like? You the, so you take my information and then you transfer me. So do you like? Do you ever see the cars don't get mailed out or nothing like that? Because maybe you don't know that you're working at a scam center. Uh, that's my, that's not my job. Uh, my job okay. is to go ahead and generate the confirmation number and give it to you. And if you don't receive the gift card, that's your duty to call in here and get it delivered. Right, if so... You don't, if you don't do that, then that's your fault, my dear. Okay, but have you ever, and like, thought, like... we received any complaints of not receiving mm, the gift card, and that's I'm all sure I can say don't. now. I'm completed okay. with my 10 minutes. No, round. don't go. I'm, still, I'm not done interviewing you. Miss Kitten. Um, it was a pleasure speaking with you, my dear. Do you ever, but listen, Jeff, time. did you realize that you're working at a scam Have center? A Maybe you don't know. No, I don't. <gasps> I'm glad working here. Oh, my God, but I think it might be a scam, Jeff. 
So you, if you're thinking it's scam, so no, I I'm just worried. I'm enjoying with your money, Miss Kitten. I'm worried for you, Jeff. I feel like, what if you get in trouble? Not at all. We know we alleged. How do you know? No. How do you know for sure? <laughs> As you know, the be a scam. Huh? What'd you say? The same way as you know that we are scam, I know that we are legit. That's what I said. But like, we both know y'all don't ever send out no gift card. Come on, Jeff. You know. What if I was some Come like? On, what if I was some old Go lady? Get another person. Call back on the same number and get another person, my dear. What if, what if some sweet old lady, what if some sweet old lady calls? Someone who was in need of this. What if some old lady calls? Oh, anyways, goodbye. And, no, Jeff, goodbye. don't go. Goodbye. Don't forget to me, add me on Instagram, Just Kidding one goodbye. Just Kidding, J-E-S-S-K-I-D-D-I-N-1, -S -S just one. Goodbye. No. Goodbye. No. You guys, that was the longest scam call I've had in a long time. Hey, Rosie Purple. Sorry that I couldn't, the screen was right here. I don't know why I was looking because it's not like I could see him. Um, sorry if I missed any. Wait, what happened with some person in the chat? Is everyone okay? Yeah, come on, Jeff. The name's Jeff. I can totally thought of 21 Jump, Jump Street. Hey, Chris, thank you. Juniper is taking a little nap by the window. This is pretty funny. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Tom. Hey, Eva. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> I think I need more coffee. <laughs> Hi, David. Jim Browning is in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was crazy. That was pretty funny. To Ariana Grande. Maybe. Yeah. I'm new to watching, but you're a oh, Thank you, Emerald. Um, oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're welcome, Paul McLaughlin. Put the cat on. Junie's sleeping though. I don't want to wake her. Maybe I can flip the camera real quick. Where's the baby? There she is. If I talk to her, she always goes like boop, boop with her tail. Hold on, watch. I'll be quiet for a second. Junie, Junie. Look at that tail. Squirrel, move that tail. <laughs> move that tail, squirrel. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I love when she does that with her feet, her back feet. Stretch again, that's so cute with your chicken legs. Can you do the chicken legs? <gasps> oh, you're so cute. Junie, where's my baby? Look at that fuzzy belly, you're so soft. You're so soft, it's not fair. Okay, hold on, I gotta switch this around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone just sent another super chat. What's the weirdest voice in your arsenal? Um, old lady voice is pretty weird i don't even know it's the weirdest thing about the old lady voice is that people are like how did you um like perfect that voice or like how did you learn it and i don't know i think i just tried it one day and it just came out sounding like an old lady i don't <laughs> i don't know i think that's probably the weirdest most random one um yeah there's voice changers out there but for me personally as a voice actor, I feel like that would almost take the fun out of it for me. You know, I am the voice changer, so, and that's no hate on people who use that because it does produce some really funny stuff. It might be funny to use a voice changer using like the old lady voice through an old lady voice thing or something or make it like an old man voice. <laughs> Sentence made no sense. <laughs> Do you ever say sentences where like, you're pretty sure no one has ever said that sentence in the entire history of mankind? <laughs> I come up with a lot of those. Like I'll say things and I'm like, I would bet a billion dollars no one has said that exact sentence. Um, 
So anyways, I'm going to um, remove this and that because you're a hater. Um, my name is Audrey and I watch your videos all the time. I love you so much and you help me through hard times. Something tragic happened. Oh, Audrey, number one, I'm really sorry that you've been going through a rough time. Um, number two, I'm glad that I can bring you happiness. That makes it all worth it. Again, um, hang in there. Things always get better. Um, I know that's easier said than done. But hang in there, stay positive, be kind to yourself, which is the most important thing ever. Like, you can't do anything well without being kind to yourself. And it's okay to be sad. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to take time for those kind of things. And... I hope that things get better for you. And I'm so glad I can cheer you up here and there. Hi, <laughs> Tom. Happy birthday, Izzy. Happy birthday, Izzy. Yeah. Do a Marilyn Monroe voice. I don't really know. She just talks like kind of breathy, right? I'd have to kind of study it first. Thank you, Justin. Um, are you afraid you might get stuck? <laughs> no. No. Sometimes, though... If I watch too much Kardashians, like, I will find myself talking a little bit, especially, like, Courtney. If I'm ever around anyone or in a specific place, like, if I go back home to Virginia, my southern twang comes back. Or if I'm talking to someone with a southern accent, it will come out. Like, when I was on the Kelly Clarkson show, Kelly Clarkson has a bit of a southern accent, and I'm just, like it's impossible for me not to have a drawl when I'm talking to someone with a Southern accent. I don't know why. Um, and then when I watched the playback, I was like pretty embarrassed. Thank you, Bob. That's so sweet. Um, so if I'm ever around that, um, it will happen. If I'm in Hawaii, um, the way I say certain vowels will change. Um, it, yeah, I, I really, I've moved around a lot, so I adapt my voice pretty quickly and again the most embarrassing thing is like if I'm watching the Kardashians a lot I will find myself just kind of you know being really monotone and nasally I'll find myself talking like Courtney a lot especially after I watch like bit and shit for a while <laughs> so that'll happen um yeah New York accent I so, like, with New York and New Jersey, it's, like, I don't ever want to try either or because I'm scared that it's not different enough. My mom grew up in New Jersey, so she says, like, yesterday. <laughs> she says yesterday instead of yesterday. And I can't do a Boston accent. Russian accent, I can sort of do. Not too good, but once in a while. <laughs> I really want to see the pizza blanket. Excuse me. Keep your eye on the prize, y'all. Um, yeah, Ava, I just was on um, the phone with Jeff Wilson. I mean, that's definitely, definitely his voice. He said, it's not Jeffrey, just Jeff. So I might start using, I just thought of that on the top of my head, just kidding, as one of my names. <laughs> Duh, that's so funny. Just kidding. Um, that was so funny. So, um, maybe the Kardashians are not fake people. I love, I love the Kardashians. I like to watch them when I want to feel fancy or if like, it's almost like my husband said the other day, Kardashians are like, when you watch, like, remember the show Entourage? It was so fun to watch Entourage because they're always doing fancy things and like going to cool parties and all that kind of stuff and like that's why it's fun to watch kardashians because it's like entourage but like a reality version <laughs> jeff kidding getting anxiety watch you touch your face well i wash my hands constantly and um sorry about it <laughs> i don't leave the house so Ava, thanks. That's super sticker. It's super cute. Cultural Jimmy the Entry Russian accent on art. Do I have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. I think my husband would be pretty upset if I had a boyfriend. <laughs> Who knew? 
knows? I mean, maybe I do. His name is Jeff Wilson. <laughs> How's weather in California? It's not, it was uh, pretty overcast. I love when it's gloomy outside. It's like my Seattle brain. Oh, sorry, Bob, judging my face. Maybe I should just put on gloves or keep my hands and fists. <laughs> um, let's see if anyone else is answering the phone here. I don't have a dog, I just have one cat. Her name is Juniper. I've been voice acting for three years, I think. Hi, Yair. Um, thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb Speaks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's my face and I'll touch if I want to. Touch if I want to. Okay, calm down, homegirl. Time out. <laughs> um, thank you. Ooh, we're getting... Oh, someone got timed out for like 900 seconds because of all of us. <laughs> um, I can't do an Irish accent, but that brings me to the reminder that Amy, Ashton's wife, Amy plays guitar, uh, has some really great videos on her channel. I would love for you guys to visit her on YouTube, subscribe to her. Her and Ashton just did, if Trilogy Squad's in here, I'm sure you saw it. They just did the cutest video of um, her teaching him like Irish phrases and lingo. Lingo? It's so funny. Um, there's really not much up with the pizza blanket. My mom sent it to me as a joke. <laughs> she didn't tell me what it was. She goes, there's something funny in the mail that will keep you warm. And I was like, that could be a lot of things. I opened it up, it was a pizza blanket. I was like, mom. Um, I have done some voice acting for video games. I'm actually not allowed to say what they are because I signed an NDA. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have, but that will be TBA. It is TBA, not will be. Something can't be to be announced. It just is to be announced. <laughs> um, can you do a British accent? Sort of. Okay, let's find another number. Student loan. Oh, cool. Oh, thanks. I wash it maybe once a week though. That's missing. The free number you have dialed is no longer in service. Please Ooh. check the number and dial again. Woo, um, I don't own any gaming consoles. I only play like Fortnite mobile. So um that's it. Yeah, Sweden, a lot of people tell me I look like Holly Marie Collins. It's weird. Mm, never played that, Divine. Oh, did we? Hey, Aldous. Sure we did. Sing during the call. I do have a skincare routine. I just am kind of shy about posting a video about it because it's like, I don't know, is that corny? My username on Fortnite is IRL Rosie. My username on all platforms is IRL Rosie. Hi, John Roberts. Hi, Reagan. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the apple emoji. Cute. That's cute. Anyways, it's uh, it's very gloomy outside, and I'm living for it. Living for it. I do have TikTok as well. I just posted a pretty funny video yesterday where I pretended it was a um infomercial. So. It was funny. I think I might do more of those. I don't put a whole bunch of mud on my face, no. But I do have like a deep sea mask, which is good. I do miss going out. Um, I'm a bit of a homebody to begin with, but I think everyone is ready to go do something fun out in public soon. So, hi, Katim. Oh, okay, or don't answer. Jerks. Yeah, jerks. Hi, Timothy Ruhan. Smile set up to receive calls so uh oh i got a text message oh no that's to verify my fake instagram <laughs> okay so um i'm planning to get going here i have three auditions i need to send in to my agency my tiktok is irl rosie shut it um oh thanks more apples yummy so um uh. excuse me did you say you have a bikini or is my hearing shot i mean most women who swim have bikinis so yeah i also have an amazon wish list <laughs> funny to, funny that you mentioned um thanks kim good your excuse oh kiwis 
Oh, uh, I have three auditions I need to send into my agency. So I'm going to go do that. I am waiting on uh, a video approval for the new video I have ready for you guys with a very fun collab, which I've hinted to in episode one and two. And so, yeah, I might be back later. And thank you for subscribing, Danielle. Thanks, Jim, for coming to the chat. Thank you to my mods. Um, also on Thursday, I know Trilogy is doing a moment of silence for Mama Pepple, who passed away a couple of days ago and it's been really hard on all of us. I'm like not really ready to talk about it on a live stream. But if you guys remember my mod, Mama Michelle Pepple, um, Purple Hearts in the chat for those of you who know him or her. Um, yeah, so Thursday at 1.30, I know Trilogy's doing a moment of silent, like fundraiser thing on their channel. I will definitely tune in for that. So, um, okay guys, I love you so much. I know, I know. I think that I am not ready to talk about it on live for a very long time. Um, blah. Anyways, I love you guys. Sorry to touch my face, Bob, my cheek itches. <laughs> Um, can I do a baby voice? I can cry like a baby, but it's like loud. And if you guys are wearing headphones, I don't want to do that to you. But, um, <laughs> I definitely cried like a baby and do a phone on a scammer call before. Okay. Um, bye Jim. Bye Devin. Bye Tanya. Bye Chad. Bye Chris S. Who else am I missing? Tom, Bob, Eva, and Jeff, if you're still in here. Um, love you guys so much. Members, don't forget to add the members only Instagram account. If you're not a member, become a member and you get access to the members only private Instagram. Um, thanks for subbing, Alex. Lexi, bye girl. I might be in Fortnite later if I find some more snake gummies. Okay, bye you guys. Don't forget to like this. Please turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss um, me in the comments. Every time I post a video, I hang out in the comments for at least 10, 20 minutes to respond. So turn on the notification bell and um, hopefully you're already subscribed. And uh, yeah, don't miss when that video gets posted because I'm very, very excited for this collab. <laughs> it's so funny. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves well. And I will see you soon. Add me on Instagram if you want at IRLRosie. Yes, I don't know rabbit. Hello. Bye, Audrey. Bye, Pitt. Bye, Kim Frank. Samir. Okay, bye guys, I love you. Oh, ow, I just hit my arm. Juniper, say bye. Let's have Junie say bye this time. <laughs> Junie, come here, girl. Junie, Junie, Junie. You wanna say bye? Oh, <gasps> that was perfect. You're a good girl. Hi, baby. You're a good girl. Is it a good girl? Hi. Junie, you wanna say bye-bye again? <laughs> Jenny. Oh, oh, she said bye. Oh my goodness. Should I just keep it on here? A Junie cam? Oh my goodness. Are you a good girl? Junie, hey. You're stunning. <gasps> she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous even when she blims. Hey, psst, psst. Junie, Junie. Squirrel. Squirrel. Say bye to my fans. She said bye. She said bye bye. I love you. Oh, okay. Good night, Juniper. Okay, bye, guys.